if this is your first time visiting the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the content on the channel welcome to nerd guy news ngn where all nerds collide What's up, nerd and nerdettes? Nerd Logic here. Welcome back to the channel, and uh, I got some interesting news about Marvel Studios, Disney Plus, and the new Loki screaming television show that's going to appear on Disney Plus. So the very first time we saw Loki was in Thor, the very first Thor movie, and he was a mischievous god during the time. He was jealous, and he just wanted to be king of Asgard. And then eventually he fell into this black hole and. He reappeared later on in the first Avengers movie and became the villain, the main villain of that movie, even though there was somebody else pulling the strings all along. And when he lost to the Avengers, he was captured by his brother Thor and the almighty Avengers, and he was sentenced to prison in Asgard, where he returned in Thor The Dark World. And in Thor The Dark World, he helped his brother out temporarily, and he basically mischieved his brother again and he came back in Thor Ragnarok where he was somewhat of the anti-hero now at that point he eventually teamed up with his brother he showed up in Infinity War and in Infinity War he basically met his demise by the hands of the almighty Titan Thanos and when Thanos uh killed loki loki was pretty much gone that was the last time we pretty much heard of him until avengers endgame where they went back in time and messed with time went through a different time altering reality type of deal where loki takes the tesseract and he vanishes he just disappears no one knows where he went to but he believes to be somewhere in another timeline somewhere doing some mischievous magic and we have no idea what he's doing so when we very first saw the teaser trailer for the loki television series everyone freaked out because on his shirt he has tva which stands for time variant authority and if you guys don't know who the TVA are, they're basically time cops. They're time cops who are like interdimensional. They are watching everyone who messes with time, who goes back in time or who goes further into the future or who creates different time branches in time. And if they feel like it is uh, dangerous to uh, just reality, to, to just time itself, they either try to wipe out time or they try to correct time or they try to do anything that they can to just make sure time is in a good standing. And Loki is in prison with the TVA. And a lot of people wonder, why is he with the TVA he's been messing with time he has what, what what has he been doing during this time so we're going to explore all of that in the Loki television show now here's the great thing about this there's one main villain in the MCU in the in the comics everywhere even Tony has made a small reference to what the person could possibly be in Avengers Endgame where he tells Steve Rogers he tells Cap he says when you mess with time time mess back and the only other villain that we all know and that we all love to see in the MCU would be Kang the Conqueror. Now, this is where Kang the Conqueror will most likely show up in the Loki television show. And a lot of speculation and rumor are running around this that Kang will make his debut in the Loki series. And if this happens, a lot of Marvel fans are going to have to pay very, very, very close to all the intricate details in the Loki series because this is going to be where Kang makes his debut. We will see either Loki interact with Kang or there will be mentions of Kang or maybe Loki could possibly be working with Kang because I believe Kang is going to be one of the next villains in the uh, next Avengers movie. He's going to be some big bad somewhere down the line and they're going to have to clean up all the mess that is going on uh, within uh, the different time variations that's, that Loki may possibly have created. I mean, for all we know, he may have conquered Earth. He may have conquered the universe. He may have even killed or beat Thanos. So that might also be something else that we might get to explore in the What If series later on on Disney Plus, uh, given from Marvel. So now here's the cool part. Who's going to play Kang the Conqueror? Where there have been rumors and speculation that uh, Owen Wilson, Owen Wilson himself will be playing possibly Kang the Conqueror. He has had meetings with Marvel that 
they want him to probably either play Kang or probably a member or someone of a high authority in the TVA. So if that happens, I think that would be interesting for the for the Loki series. Um, Owen Wilson is a very, very good actor, and uh, I would totally love to see him uh, in the MCU. And also, if he does play Kang the Conqueror, that would be very interesting to see because he can play a very sophisticated. If you if you really think about Kang the Conqueror, he is a very sophisticated uh, villain, and I really do believe that uh, Owen can actually play this character, uh, play this villain to the perfect maximum. Uh, potential that he could and i believe he's going to be a great kang if they do decide to go with him so that's just rumor and speculation take that with a grain of salt guys but if you like this video make sure you smash that subscribe button hit the notifications bell that way you know when i upload my videos to youtube also once i reach 100 subscribers i will be giving away a special prize to anybody who comments down below and tell me your favorite superhero and tell me why their favorite superhero and uh and their uh i guess their favorite power and i would do a drawing of out of those 100 subscribers once i hit 100 who will be the winner and you guys will win that prize i will um, basically get a hold of you you guys can hit me up on the back end of my youtube channel uh, once i give you a drawing and give me your i guess your um address or p.o box and i'll send you off the uh the prize but anyway guys thank you so much for watching the channel i'm your host nerd logic stay super catch you next time peace out